Holy cow, everybody has been a buzz about this truck uh, on my channel as I've been posting about it. This is the 1.8 scale Cragsman from Traction Hobby and I have had so many requests over the last several days. RC Sparks, can you put it beside an Axial SCX-102? Can you put it beside a Traxxas TRX-4? Can you put it beside the HPI Venture? Can you put it beside and the answer is yes. I'm gonna do as many as I can for you today. Um, I know I'm slamming my subscribers with Cragsman right now. It's, I, I don't care. If you like the truck, awesome. If you don't, cool. I have one. I painted it gold and black. I think it looks pretty P-I-M-P-I-N-G. <laughs> Look at that. Now, it certainly is hard to get a perspective of how big this truck actually is because a lot of the videographers, including myself on YouTube, have done such a good job of making these trucks look huge when they're actually really smaller than what they are. And you can't really tell from the size of someone's hand, you know, because you don't know how large the person is. So I understand, we need to put some models beside this so you guys can see it. And I don't really care. If you guys wanna buy one of these, awesome. You know, I'm not sponsored to tell you to buy one of these or whatever. I just wanna show you guys that larger scale crawlers are now starting to become available and I hope it really takes off because I've already had a ton of fun. Let's start off with a good measurement, okay? Because then we'll be all be able to understand where we're at. So I know the camera does tricks, and so I'm just, you're gonna have to take my word for it. It's basically from back tire, right? Back bumper right on the edge right here. Straight up to the front, to the end of the stinger, okay? Well, <laughs> that's gonna be about 26 inches. Now if we're looking wheelbase, we got 15 inches. If we go from one side of tire to the other, we're looking at about one foot or 12 inches. Total height, depending on how you have your suspension, really 10 inches. But I, I don't really have my uh, shocks too sprung right now, and these tires are slightly smaller than the stock tires. People were asking me if these were the uh, RC four-wheel drive uh, Mudslinger XLs, and they are not. They are actually the standard 2.2 size. Axle stub to axle stub, here you guys can see a Trail Finder 2 from RC Four Wheel Drive. This is the Toy Boda that I actually modified. You can see a Trail Finder 2 is a fairly common uh, product, even though this one is not very stock. In fact, I don't have many stock vehicles here, but how many of you guys have seen the Toy Boda series I did, which was a tribute truck to the Top Gear UK series that I loved so much. At the time of this filming, this is one of the more anticipated vehicles coming out. This is the HPI Venture. We've been waiting for a few years for this to come out on the market. It's finally here, but look at the size of 110 scale compared to the 18 scale. And the even neater thing is, is here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. Magnets and Velcro, so I just gotta do the Velcro on the other side. Come on! Put this beside like this, put this beside like this, put the wheel axle to axle, and you can really see the size difference. And I'll roll these ones up tire to tire. Here is my G-Mate Sawback 110th scale next to the 18th scale traction hobby, Cragsman. Yes, I've got my plug showing. Sorry about that, everybody. I don't have a stock bomber from Axial, but there you go. The wheelbase is the same. Here is a close to stock Vatera Ascender, even though it's a little saggy in the rear end. <laughs> Got a little bit of, I don't have the body on right, but there you go, both have mudslinger tires. Which axle is bigger? Clearly this one is wider. This one comes with plastic uh, axle housings. This one is all alloy, I think. I know it's a metal of some sort. I'm gonna assume that it's alloy. Here is my newly done Axial SCX-10 known as the Beast, but this thing is not stock. It is jacked right up. And even up high you can see, oh, it looks like my truck jacked up is actually the equal height of roof. There you go, SCX-10-1. 
right there. Nice good shot of the length. SCX-10 II, you can see the length. This is my wife's truck, Candy. Here we go, coming down, not jacked up, pretty much stock. SCX-10 II next to the Cragsman. Here is my Black Widow Wraith, also with 2.2s. Wraith axle. Aha, look at this. Could be interchangeable possible there, hey? Here is the Capo Ace One. I always told you guys this machine was quite large. Look at this, hub to hub, 2.2 to 2.2, much larger. Nice width on the axle. And it almost looks like it's a hair longer. <laughs> we got a contender, aw. <laughs> Let's go a little bit bigger here. Now I know everybody's like, oh, bring out the summit. We want to see the summit, you know, because it's supposed to be one tenth scale, which all of the RC hobbyists over the years that have been in the hobby know that this one tenth scale summit uh, is actually closer to a huge one eighth scale. Would we all agree? I don't know how Traxxas did that. But on the other hand, even though I don't have a stock Traxxas Summit here, I can say that any manufacturer that comes out with any monster truck, they're basing their size based on the monster truck that they're <laughs> actually making a replica or tribute of. So it could have been one tenth the size of that. Look at that, giant. So like, if I was hub to hub right there. So I'm gonna have to say it's a true eight scale. <laughs> Sorry Traxxas, eight scale dude, Summit for sure. Here it is with a Kyosho Mini Z 124 scale. My soldering iron, full size. Here is an AR Racing quarter scale dirt bike. A 112 scale RC four wheel drive hydraulic excavator. And me, full size, I'm 5'10". And the one everybody has been waiting for, my TRX-4. Now I don't have the stock bumpers and I don't have the uh, stock body on here. In fact, I have an eighth scale body. This is what I was using with first person view the other day in a video for you. I did get some more first person view gear. I guess I should go over that, but it's not super popular, but I have fun with it. Take this off. Ta-da, da-da-da-da, Traxxas TRX-4. One of the most amazing uh, and innovative trail trucks I've seen in a very long time. Yes, mine is all done up with a track or with a Tekken uh, RX-4. I've got a nice Rock 412 HD, but overall it is, you know, stock length minus the bumpers. Check that out. This was the first vehicle I've ever seen that had locking and unlocking differentials via a cable system, uh, plus a two-stage transmission. I've seen that before, but the locking and unlocking uh, and two-wheel and four-wheel uh, drive was something that was amazing and innovative in this product, and I saw it at the beginning of 2017. An amazing, amazing vehicle. Now this vehicle over here, the traction hobby, you know, like the 1.8 scale Cragsman, is totally different. You guys may have noticed, the Keeners may have noticed, look at this, I'm actually missing a servo. Because the servos, that these small Traxxas servos, they have been flawed in my opinion for so many years. They are so expensive for these small micro servos, about $35 a, a Canadian, where I am, 35 bucks each. They have plastic gears and they can break so easy. So this servo is actually taken out and I actually just locked this differential uh, up here so I have both tires spinning all the time uh, because I didn't want to shell out the money for that and, it, and it's so small, it's really hard to find replacement waterproof servos that are Traxxas. But still, an amazing rig, guys. It's only because I beat the heck out of my, my vehicles that when I went to turn the screw that's right there, 
right, for this tightening mechanism, you can hear the, the gears just strip, strip, strip. But overall, this vehicle with portal axles, this is something that's huge. Look at the amount of clearance you guys have in here, right? The portal axles, you can't quite see them in there, but it's a series of gears that's allowing you to lift up the vehicle, plus it's taking uh, more load off of the motor that you have in here. It comes with a brushed motor. Now, that's amazing. I love the clearance. The belly clearance under here is spot on. Let's line it up to the Cragsman, only because so many people have been asking. I want to go on record right now. Everybody asks me, what's my favorite RC? What's the best RC? I gotta say, best is a word, and this is what I come up with. Best is a word that is all based on personal experience. What's best for somebody may not be best for another, depending on where in the world you are, how you grew up, budget, you know, everything about you, your friends, you know, everything. So what's best is, is any RC that can make you smile. And before I take the lid off of either one of these, I want you to know that both of these are fantastic vehicles. This one for innovation and product, you know, like how they came out with it. This one, because in some ways it does mimic this platform, but it is larger and they've done some things differently. They both do uh, obstacles very, very well. You'll see the Traxxas TRX-4 is actually considerably smaller. Yet I am using a 1.8 scale body on here. This is my Killer Crawler 2 body from RC Four Wheel Drives. An eight scale that fits on here so well. But as you can see, it kind of dwarfs in size. Now we might just be looking at the spare tire and going, yeah, it's the spare tire. Let's have a look at that again. Three inches longer. If I, if I had the bumpers on here, I'm just going from axle nut to axle nut, basically. Let's see who's wider. You knew this comparison was gonna happen on the internet no matter who it was that was gonna do it. But I'm able to show you here, there's a considerable size difference. So you guys might ask me, you know, like, what is better? I can say that the Traction Hobby vehicle, because of its size, is able to conquer more obstacles. But look at this, belly clearance is higher over here. Is it the shocks that I have on here? Obviously, right? These are the stock shocks that it came with on the Cragsman. These are upgraded shocks I put over here, the 120 millimeters, just to give it some extra oomph for rock crawling. But really, now you can see the differences. I know everyone's been excited. You can see the width differences. There's definitely a transmission difference in how they've done the gearing on the inside. This still looks like a normal motor for like a regular 10th scale, but it, it moves so easily, even with the upgraded tires, the extra lugs uh, in the snow and ice. Granted, I've only had it on snow and ice and on some dirt. I don't find this one as fast, but this one can still take the 3S. This is a three cell LiPo, 5,000 milliamp. Uh, this is a Gens Ace. People ask me what batteries I use. I use all types of batteries, but I've used Gens Ace quite a bit over the years, uh, simply because they last a long time and they work. Yes, I buy them. <laughs> um, you know, what else can I say for you guys? How they've done the, uh, their servos, for example. There is five servos in here. People have been asking me, why is there five servos? I don't get it. One for steering, one for two wheel to four wheel switching, one from high to low switching and locking back and locking front differentials. That's all five. Plus you have the ESC, which is your throttle input, but that's not a servo for those that don't know. Plus these servos are more of a common size. I think Savox actually makes these servos and yes, replacing five servos is very expensive. And over to the Cragsman, you can see it doesn't have any portal gears. There is the height of the axle. We'll just kind of scoot straight across so you can see. So, yeah, it's a little bit higher for sure on the Traxxas. So there you go, portal axles are definitely giving you more clearance. 
and we have a wider uh, uh, wheel here. So of course you're gonna be dragging it a little bit more here. Thankfully, um, it does have a twisted axle, right? So it's kind of raising the pumpkin off the ground, whereas the portal axles are really giving quite a bit of good lift in here. This truck has been incredibly capable for me out on the rocks. I've not tested this one on my rock pile yet, uh, but I will in the future. Here is what the TRX comes with in the beginning. I know they're coming out with plenty of more bodies. In fact, they've got a, a, a beautiful body out right now. Plus they also have a, another uh, military body, but the Land Rover with the cage looks absolutely stellar, right? And of course mine's modified quite a bit, but sorry guys, I, I'm a hobbyist too, right? I'm gonna go in and modify and have fun with my trucks all the time, so. <laughs> Doing the YouTube show is cool, but I also love doing my hobby as well. <laughs> so there you go. This one's all nice and lifted up. You can see that it's got quite a nice stance to it. I can't show you the stock one, wish I could, but you guys get a general overall sense of what's going on. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into the show today. Hopefully this has uh, helped you guys out on your decision making of what you want. Do you guys, now that you've seen a few of these videos of these larger crawlers, do you think one eight scale crawlers are going to start taking over? I know that, that it's new and there aren't any parts out right now, but if there is more parts availability, heck, even if there was a one size crawler, fifth scale crawler, one size larger, fifth scale crawler is what I meant to say, would you get into that? One eighth size to one tenth size. What's your size? Post it up in the comment section below and let's talk about it. See you guys in the next episode of RC Adventures. Hit the subscribe and the notification and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now. And because I love you, there it is. I know so many people will be like, put it next to the X-Max. Put it next to the low C5 T, one fifth scale. Put it next to overkill. <laughs> and overkill is like one fourteenth size body, but still much longer and still acting like a boss every single day.